Well, hello. Today, I wanted to discuss two totally different types of sounds. An overdriven sound with pedals versus an overdriven sound uh, through the amp. So in other words, overdrive pedals in clean channel, very clean, or um, amp clean channel turned all the way up, or just the, you know, if it's only a single channel amp, to turn all the way up, and then run some dirt pedals into it to give it a little bit more gain. There's not like a right or wrong way to do this, or right or wrong sound, or anything like that. It's just two totally different flavors. So, but I think it'd be uh, be fun and entertaining to actually let you guys see what you think. So, guys and gals, rather. So let's uh, let's start with my clean tone on an orange Rocker Verb 50 EQ straight up and down on the clean channel. Alright, so let's start with the Tube Screamer. Uh, the TS9 is something everyone's probably very familiar with. Mid humpy around 720 hertz. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. I think it has its applications. I, I wouldn't, you know, call it a distortion pedal necessarily, but I think even when it's on a clean channel versus when it's driving an amp, two totally different sounds. So let's jump into that right now. Turn my volume back a little bit and turn my gain up. Here we go. So that is a cool sound. Uh, I mean, it's got its applications, right? I like to actually back that gain off a little bit. And um, a lot of times I'll use it just on a bridge or on the neck pickup. Because with it off, turn the treble up, or tone up just a little bit. That's a really cool sound that I personally like, uh, and a lot of bluesy type of players too do as well. Not just necessarily blues, but kind of lends itself to the, that sort of, I don't know, bluesy type of dirty clean, I guess you could say. So let's go on to the Tumness. Again, uh, this being like the sort of a, I guess everybody calls it the clon type of thing, uh, because it's mid humpy in that 1K mid range. Um, it does have a really cool clean tone, unique clean tone, kind of warms things up a little bit. And let's kick that on. No fun, let's turn the gain up. And then we go on to the Euphoria, which is a lot of people think it's like a Dumble style amp or Dumble style amp, Dumble style uh, overdrive. Kind of, because what I was going for, the Dumble clones that I had played are, are always kind of chewy when they're breaking up. I, was, I kind of wanted that chewiness, but I didn't want like real mid-range humpy, like uh, like the, some of the like the Zen Drive type stuff is. It's uh, And I love the Zen Drive, don't get me wrong, uh, and those type of pedals, but I, just, I wanted it to be a little bit more uh, transparent, for lack of a better word. So here we go with the Euphoria. <laughs> on the neck. All right, and so now let's turn the orange clean channel up all the way 
so we can get some natural to overdriven sound. All right, so we have the clean channel up all the way. Let's uh, let's play it by itself. And we'll kick on the tube screamer. And now on to the tumnus. to the 30 something. So the 30 something has two different channels. We have the um, kind of the Vox inspired side, and then we have a separate boost, which is kind of based around what, like the range master style circuit, which is just basically a transistor circuit. Let's turn that on. I have the boost level all the way up. So this is just hitting it really hard with the boost. <laughs> to the euphoria turn the volume up just a little bit Let's run a simple transparent boost into this and see what happens whenever we hit the front end of this amp with a bunch of clean signal not colored by anything. All right, so now we have the DB Plus, which is just a transparent, I say just, it's a transparent op amp boost, op amp bass boost. And uh, here we go, let's hit this guy with some volume. <laughs> Again, let's compare that with a very mid-range, um, you know, type of overdrive like the Tube Screamer. So as you can see, it kind of compresses everything, makes everything tighter whenever it's mid-rangey, whenever you're dropping some bottom end, all that sort of thing. All that stuff kind of helps shape hitting the front of that dirty amp. So I hope this helped you. Hope it kind of helped to explain the differences and show the differences in sounds in running overdrive pedals into a clean channel versus using them as more of a boost type of thing and running it into a dirty channel or a, a really dirty amp. So thanks for watching. See you in a couple days with a new video.